Good morning, and welcome to BAC Today. I'm Pastor Dave, so glad you've joined me for these few minutes. About 50 years ago, Barb and I moved from Phoenix uh, to McPherson, Kansas, where I had accepted a position as uh, assistant pastor of a church there, a wonderful church, great lead pastor. And part of my uh, job that first summer uh, among other things, but specifically, I was invited to preach for the first time ever in my life on a Sunday night. So I had to select uh, a scriptural basis for this sermon, and I selected uh, a verse from Matthew 16. If anyone wants to be my disciple, he must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. The reason I chose that scripture is that I had been troubled as a young believer, follower of Christ, about what that meant. It seemed so uh, counterhuman. It seemed so negative uh, to identify that we must deny ourselves and our own perspectives, deny basically who we are, and take up our cross and follow Christ. I understood some of that very well, but this denying piece was a little troubling. And uh, now, 50 years later, uh, I still find that verse worthy of pondering and considering and of great value in its contribution to my life as a Christian over these years. Self-denial is not a discipline to see what we can do without, but in Christ, what, can we, what we can receive. Self-denial is not a discipline to see what we can do without but in Christ, what we can receive. As a father, a grandfather, as a uh, associate pastor of a church, as an employee, as a friend, um, I want to be the very best. I want to be the very best husband for Barb and all of these other parts that we've, well, I've spoken of. I want to be the best possible. Will that take place through my best effort? Will that take place through my most studied effort? No, it won't. It will take place as the Spirit of our Creator God, the God who is love, makes it so through His presence in me and in you. I deny myself so that I can receive what He has for me. I deny my own perspective so that I can see through Scripture, but certainly through His presence in my heart and life, uh, his will and his way. But he goes more than that. Deeper in my personality, there are attitudes, some not so good, that need to be changed that sometimes I haven't even identified until they surface in a relationship, in a conversation. And I deny that, not suppress it, but I deny it by saying, Father, I can't fix this. I don't want to be this way. Please make me the man. Make me the husband. Make me the father, the grandfather. Make me the employee. Make me the pastor that you would have me be. Um, I can certainly do my diligence, as I referred to already, by studying and understanding different things. But nothing transforms the heart and life as that when we deny ourselves, take up our cross, and follow him. His ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So why would we restrict ourselves from having the be very best in Christ as possible? And the very best comes to you, comes to me through self-denial. So this is a very positive, though brief message today. At given points, recognize the privilege you have, the privilege I have, of denying ourselves so that we can have more in Christ, more of Christ, so that he can make us more like Jesus, so that we can live and love like Jesus as Pastor Rob has been preaching. Have a wonderful day. The Lord bless you.